So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this with one of the clear bodied pens, but again, they're all the same. So when you receive your pen, it looks like this. Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining. So when you receive your pen, it looks like this. Um, and if you try to write with it, it's not going to work. Um, and that's because the ink is actually in here. So you wanna unscrew this part. And in here is the cartridge. And it's actually in the correct orientation. So you don't really even have to take it out. But if you see, there's a metal ball bearing in there. And on this end, there is a metal, or I'm sorry, a plastic pokey thing. <laughs> I don't know what the word for it is. Um, and so just the way that you're gonna start it, I actually prefer to take the cartridge out because this is just there to like for you to hold the pen is you're gonna hold the cartridge upright so you can minimize spilling. I always have a paper towel even though um, it shouldn't really make a mess. I'm just a messy human. So uh, you're gonna hold this upright. You're gonna stick this on. It takes quite a bit of pressure, you could see. Make sure it's really good in there. For some pens, um, they suggest like squeezing the cartridge a few times, but I usually like to try to see if I can get the ink flowing without doing that, so you screw this back on. Uh, and then you're gonna start trying to write, but it doesn't always work right away because the ink needs to travel down into the nib. So there it works now. And I'm just demonstrating this on our uh, Dockered insert paper because it's really great for fountain pens. And so this is the Platinum Preppy and it's blue and it has the fine tip. I think it's their 03. And you can see that it writes really easily. And so some things I like about this ink, it's got a different color than your typical blue ink. So I know not everyone's a fan of blue. Um, though I think this is, again, a different shade of blue that hopefully will appeal to more people. Um, <laughs> and uh, the other thing I wanted to say about this is that if you look at this paper, you can see that the line is really nice. There's no feathering and there's minimal ghosting. I mean, you can see through it because I have a light shining through it, but if you place it down, you can see there's almost no ghosting on the other side. Um, and another reason why I like these pens, if you haven't used a fountain pen before, there's a couple reasons. Uh, one is that it, they actually designed it so that if you leave the cap on it, it shouldn't dry out for, they say, up to an over a year. So if you don't know if you're going to use it every day or if you want to get all the different colors, then this is like a great pen for that. Uh, most fountain pens, even if you cap it, it's, if you don't write with it um, at least like once a week, it's going to dry out and then it's a pain to clean. So that's a really nice uh, thing that I like about this because anything that minimizes the amount of work or thinking that I have to do to take care of something is like always a good thing in my book. And then this pen is also really affordable. Um, I can't remember how much I would need to list these for, um, but this one is $8.50. And again, it's going to be the same way of putting it and getting it started as the cartridge is in here. You just have to pop it like that. Um, so when you're done with this, when it runs dry, um, you'll actually just pop the cartridge off. And I would actually recommend saving it. I threw away my first one. I like really regret it because what you can do is you can refill these cartridges. Um, I actually have a story where I do that so I can save it as a highlight. Um, and if you buy ink uh, and refill these cartridges, it's like uh, the pen has even more value because Sometimes cartridges cost, like, even if they're only a dollar, like, I still think that they're too much because a bottle of ink is going to actually last you way longer um, and they're not hard to refill. And this pen is also super easy to clean, uh, which you would only really need to do if you were changing ink colors or if it somehow dried out because you didn't use it for, like, two years or something. Um, but the way that you would... I'm not going to take this one apart now because then I'll get ink everywhere. But the way that you would, like, clean these is super simple. You just, like, pull this out and you just wash all the different parts, super easy. So if you guys have any other questions about these, I'm happy to answer, but I just wanted to demonstrate how you get the ink started